Hello everyone and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So here we are, the beginning of the end. Now, I've been very clear from the start that this is not a completely blind playthrough. I knew some stuff going in. That's why the title of this video says semi-blind. But fr from this point on, there are exactly two things that I know for sure, and one thing that I kind of know about. I'll tell you what the specific things are later on once we actually see them. But as for the thing I kind of know about, I know that the game has multiple endings, and that the one you get depends on the choices you make in these last hour or two of gameplay. I don't know how much how much is left. But I think that opening the Ankaran sarcophagus will get you a bad ending, but that I might still do it if they give me the chance. Now I don't know what's actually in any of those endings, so that's going to be completely new to me. And like I said, I will let you know what the two specific things I know are when we get there. They aren't anything major, I don't think. Just two events that happen. Is Chunk okay? No, Chunk! No, Chunk! Is that Chunk? No, that's not Chunk. Oh no. Where is he? He's the only one I care about. Where's Chunk? Can I save him? Can I make him a ghoul? Chunk! Where are you? You're not Chunk. Where is he? If he's dead, I'm going to be very sad. But yeah, this is- this is where stuff gets serious. Also, I meant to go buy blood bags. Crap. Uh, I think I'll have the chance to do that after I leave the tower. I hope. Hey, um, you know there's trails of blood leading up to your office, right? Who do I want to talk to first? I want to talk to Beckett. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless. But they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. Um. <laughs> okay, game. I get the point. You ever gonna talk to me? Do you even have a voice actor? <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Uh, somebody made a mess downstairs. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. Why did the Sabbat attack? I mean, I can probably guess, but... Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. They drink the blood of other vampires? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablery. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred. Especially older ones. Until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. <laughs> you want me to wipe out the Sabbat? Okay, fine. The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Uh, give me my reward first. Take your money. Tell me, what have you learned? Thank you. 
Uh, we need the, the key. A key? Where? Do you have it? No. But Bach is dead. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you. And to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. I only killed him because I had to. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. All right. Your, your sheriff is rotating in place there, by the way. Beckett, talk to me. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for... The wrong thing for the right reasons? What does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. I don't think Beckett is any of those. I think Beckett is just the lone agent. You're not Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Another reason to like Becky, he doesn't deal with all this faction nonsense. Uh, I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He says it's the tomb of an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserach, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. Uh, he said there's a key for the sarcophagus, but I don't, he doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. Uh, and the reliefs are demoness named Lamastu. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. Uh, does it mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserach and the Lamas II myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. You're welcome. Uh, other questions? Excellent. Why would they attack so openly? It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. I'm supposed to go wipe, th wipe them out. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Excellent. I think out of all the people we've met, Beckett is the one I trust the most. He's very straightforward with us. He shared his information and we've shared ours with his. With him. We're going to go kill the Sabbat in the Hellebrook Hotel. Lovely. Well, as far as side quests go, we failed one and we could not complete this one. I think that that's a pretty good record actually considering how many we got done. There's probably one or two that I never even found, but I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Considering this is my first time ever playing the game. Oh, Chunk, where did you go? I miss him. Where is he? He doesn't deserve to die like this. He was so loyal. Well, the good thing is there's no corpse. Unless he lost a lot of weight since the last time I saw him.
Okay, I'm gonna make a quick detour to Chinatown. Hop in. To buy some blood bags. And then we'll head to the hotel. Is the hotel the final location? Also, that guy was skiing. But it, it just... I don't know if that's the final place. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm positive that's not the last place we're going. Welcome back! Because I just remembered one of the things that I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try not to talk about those things because I don't want to spoil anyone else who's watching. Oh, I never put my armor on, did I? I'll have to do that in a minute. Okay, let's buy a couple of these. Um, those are kind of expensive. Let's buy some more of these. I'm gonna use a lot of those probably. And then I guess some of these. Actually, those don't those don't heal a lot. Let's spend our money on the ones that work a lot better. Okay, that's all my money, all of it. And I have a lot of experience now. And I was told that from this point on, non-combat skills are not as useful. So I need to focus more on combat at this point. Yeah, I should I should bump up my melee. Definitely. Because that's what I use the most. Okay. We're gonna go head to the hotel. Going somewhere? Yes, thank you. Back to downtown. Now, I, rem I remember this hotel because I tried to get into it several times. It is, uh... Is it this? No, it's this way. It's the one where the, um, the people in the hazmat suits were standing outside the corner for a long time. Right over here. Okay, we can't use that door. But I know there's a door right over here. We can't use that one either. Um, that's new. Well, I said a few, few videos ago that the best way to sneak in is either through the back or from the roof. So I guess we're going through the roof. All right then. That was a cool sound. I don't know what that was. Well, somebody's here. Because I have my stealth meter giving me a number. Okay, well, they, they blocked off those paths pretty quick. What animal is that? That's like an owl, right? Okay, now the question is, is that guy an enemy? Or a friend? Well, he's holding a knife. Probably an enemy. Oh. Okay, that guy is definitely an enemy. But I was being sneaky, so ha. Huh. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Hold on. Who can I be sneaky sneaky with? What are the chances I can stealth kill this guy? I don't know if this is even possible, but I want to try it. It is possible.
Okay, I took out the guy with a gun. That'll make things easier. I just got knife guy and really long arm guy. Why does he sound like a zombie from Left 4 Dead? This isn't working. That worked, though. Okay. We're going stealthy, then. Hello, sir. Nice. Okay, so far so good. I took a very small amount of damage that's already healed. Oh. There's a lot of people here. Okay. Oh. That worked pretty well. Again, I took a bit of damage, but nothing too bad. Okay, I can- I can- oh, there's a dude right here. Hello. Hi. Uh, if you- if you don't mind, I'm just gonna come around here. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of guys here. Also, item? Hello. I don't know what that was. I guess it was ammo. Hello, sir. Ooh, 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 I'm getting lit up. Yeah, you, you guys can come in here if you want. Okay. I'm gonna try and get through this without fighting too much. Hello? Oh. Because I would like to save all my blood bags for when I actually get into a serious fight. But if I can just- oh! Now what's this? Excuse me? Hold on. Is that a weapon? <gasps> yes! I mean, it has the exact same stats as the katana, but it has- it causes aggravated damage. So, that's automatically better. Also, it looks cooler, so... New favorite weapon right there. Hi. You are big! Oh, it's these guys again. Excuse me, sir, I'm kind of busy. Mm, that was embarrassing. But it worked out in the end. So, the big fleshy monsters are back. Hopefully not the multi-torsoed ones, because those guys are tough. I am not a fan. Mm, why do I feel like that's an ambush?
I don't like dropping down into places where I can't see what's around me. Hi. Sabat really need to find a better hiding place. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. I forgot to close down all my internet browsers and stuff I had open in the background. Hopefully that didn't affect the, the performance too much. Oh, that guy's excited. You, you only broke- oh. I was gonna say you only broke down half the wall. We're on a sneaky sneak mission. Kind of. I think this is working out pretty well. Oh, hello. Actually, 12. Hmm. I'm gonna boost strength when I have the chance, I think. I don't know if I'll be able to get n three more experience in the next however long, but we'll find out. Is this guy an enemy? I don't know if that person's an enemy. I'll just leave him alone. He's delicious, though. Just gonna stand over- oh, hi. That made me jump. <laughs> oh. Hold on, I'm trying not to attack this guy behind me. I guess these guys are just here to, for me to feed on. Which, I mean, thanks. I appreciate it. They're basically like vampire vending machines. They're just there if you need a quick snack. Yeah, that wall looked very destructible. Oh, hello, you're a full on gangrel. Full protein. You weren't that tough, though. I mean, I'm not really complaining. But yeah, if, if I ever get my protein up to max, that's what I will look like when I use it. Like a weird bat werewolf. 
They're kind of cool, actually. Oh, there's another hole to fall down. Excuse me, sir. Wait, do you do you not have eyeballs? Hold on. Oh, you don't. Oh, man. Sorry about that. That sucks. Just gotta do another quick save. Are we heading towards a boss fight? That looks like a boss room. It's it's mostly wide open with a few obstacles. That screams boss to me. Or at least like a huge rush of enemies. Yep, a bunch of vampires just spawned in. But luckily for me, I'm being sneaky. So I might be able to take out one of them before the rest attack. Okay, that was better than I expected. I don't know if I can get the middle guy. But I can probably get the guy over in this corner. And, I mean, that already makes my odds way better. Ooh, actually, this is gonna be kinda close. Depends on if he turns around or not. That's the big thing here. He did not turn around. Yes. Now, can I get this fellow, too? That'd be quite nice. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think the game wanted me to have like an epic shootout here, but I I defied those ex expectations. Oh hi, do you want to fight? That dude just ran away. <laughs> I don't blame him. Honestly, that's the smartest decision he could have made. Um, excuse me, I've got to defeat this guy with a shotgun first. It's cool that we're getting vampire enemies who are starting to use the actual disciplines. Like, I recognize that a lot of these claw guys are using fortitude because of the blue glowiness. I don't recognize a lot of the other disciplines, though, because I've never used them. I don't have a lot of them. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Speaking of fortitude, I should probably use it myself. Okay, I can't get through there. But I can almost glitch out of the ceiling. That's fun. Hi. Okay, back to sneaking. Oh, they see me. Well, what do you think? Should I just charge in? How many are in there? Two? Okay, if they shoot at me again, there we go. Can I just, like, jump over this? No, not really. I gotta go around. Oh, another gangrel. Hi.
Uh, this is kind of a mess. Ooh, okay, okay. Well then, I think now's a good time to use a blood bag. Just one of the tiny ones, though. That's going to get broken down, right? No? Or can I break it down? No, I can't. I gotta go around the way where the guys with the guns are. Of course I do. You gonna shoot me? I can't sneak around you like this, I don't think. Ooh, I just stole my health. I did use that, didn't I? I did. It didn't heal very much, though. Or maybe I just got shot point blank in the face by a shotgun right after I used it. Because that probably happened. Thank you! Okay, I'll leave the other guy there for now. I'll come back to him in a minute. I don't want to fall down that, that elevator shaft. Okay, now we'll go back to this guy. Because we probably won't get another chance. Okay, there. It's very nice of them to stock, I guess, blood slaves, for lack of a better term. Okay, that's not too much of a drop. <laughs> okay, so that is one of the things that I knew was going to happen. If you let her stay with you this long in the game, she gets killed by the Sabbat. I knew that was going to happen, but I was trying to stay true to what my um, reactions would have been if I hadn't known that. Which is, I would have let her stay with me all this time. But yeah, she, she gets killed if you let her stay. The only way for her to live in the in the official game is to get her to leave you. I believe the plus patch adds an option to another way to save her. Are you okay? Okay. I need you alive for this. So that means, from this point on, there is officially one thing I know about.
Wow, we just don't even care, do we? Oh, never mind. Okay, we got a single line of dialogue to commemorate her death. Up here's another shootout room. This feels like a saloon, like an old Wild West shootout situation. Okay, I see a dude up there. And a dude up there. Oh, somebody... Okay, somebody's got some magic powers. Ow, those hurt. So I suppose the question is... Should I try guns or should I try sneaking up there? You jerk. Okay, well that, that answers that question. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage from that fire. Hold on. Let me just get over here in my little corner. This, this is working pretty well, actually. Alright. Cool. Glad we got that over with. I don't know what kind of power that was. It was pretty cool, though. I'll admit that much. I can admire my enemy's strengths. So, uh, where do I go from here? Oh, that's where I go. Hello, sir. May I borrow your services? Okay, I think that's enough from you. I'll come back to you if I need you. Hi. Do I want to just charge in there? Or do I want to... That could have gone better. <laughs> There's still one guy. Okay, that's all my ammo for that gun. That 
that's okay. I like this gun a lot better anyway. And that's why I kept you here, friend. Thank you. Your service is appreciated. Sorry about your eyeballs. I think that might be a better shotgun than what I have, but... Do I want to ditch any of these? I don't think I really want to. Definitely not the flamethrower. I don't know. Oh, we're going somewhere new. Okay. Where is this? I'm... I'm stuck on the door. Uh... Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Now this looks like a fighting area. Hmm. Maybe? Uh... Okay. Located the lair of the Sabbat leader. I like how the doors just close themselves. This is a boss arena for sure. I mean, look at those corpses hanging from chandeliers. That's like perfect evil demonic monster aesthetic. Just take a nice look around before I jump down there, because there's going to be no way back up until I win. Okay. Inventory full? Why why does it matter that my inventory's full? Was there an item I could have picked up? Nice intestines. Hello. Oh, it's another one of you guys. I recognize the smell of your blood, young canite. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Wait, is that that's the same guy? Oh, okay. I, I thought I killed you. Oh, well. Puppet. The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! I, I almost said something earlier when we saw that one fleshy monster dude. I was like, oh, they have one of the Chimiche guys' things. I, I guess he's their leader. Um, puppet for who? Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. 
It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. What's going to happen if the sarcophagus is opened? Oh, hello. Zulo shape. Hi. Ooh, you're tough. Ouchies. Okay, this is why I bought all these blood bags. Come down here and fight me. Oh, come on, I'm so close. What are those fishy guys called in The Legend of Zelda? Are they the Zora? I, I don't- I've only played like one and a half Zelda games, so... <laughs> I obviously don't know this stuff. Well, that was surprisingly easy. As happy as a little girl. Okay. Well, how do I get out of here? Question mark? Hmm, that's actually rather lovely. In a very gory sort of way. You can't deny that he has some artistic sense. Can I jump back up here? Oh, I don't know how I did that, but I did. Is this the way I'm supposed to leave? I, I guess so. Hi. Be at peace, kindred. You stand amongst friends now. Hey, Ming Zhao. It's nice to see you. I am happy to be received with such warmth. It is encouraging that the tired animosity between our people has not infected your judgment. Also, on a very shallow level, you're very pretty. So, uh, you've done nothing to earn my distrust. I might as well stay civil with her. A true friend in death is as true love. Precious, rare, and sweet. Pray your senses have not gone so languid that this blessing cannot be savored. Um, a true friend or a friend of convenience? Or actually, hmm, some of your agents didn't share your vision. Indeed, the Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of Lacroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. Um, why did they try to kill me? They had orders to get the sarcophagus at all costs and to let no one get in the way. It was nothing personal. They had no way of knowing who you were. You don't care that I killed them? It is not that I do not care. If their purpose was to make apparent to me the significance of your path, then their purpose was indeed served and they are at peace. I can harbor no ill will toward you, the victor. All right. You sound impressed. I am impressed, kindred. That is why I've come to reveal to you the truth, so that you may see that you are not the fist of Lacroix, but the hand that will put the final events of this war into motion. So how did our paths come to converge here? Or actually, the Chang brothers mentioned an alliance. I want to know about this. We did have an arrangement, Lacroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. So what happened? 
LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. Uh, how did he use you? Definitely not number three, I don't feel that way. LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. And so? LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems. A hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And, as you can see, I was integral to his plan. Oh! Things are beginning to make sense. LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Kuei Jin. And so, with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. That explains why Nines seemed like he was acting weird at the mansion. It wasn't actually him. So you were the one I saw at the mansion? Yes. You were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devised such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Hmm. So why are you questioning the Alliance now? Our dealings with LaCroix have put his integrity into question. He has become careless. His desire for the sarcophagus seems to have superseded all other concerns, including political discretion. Okay. It is obvious to me that he wishes to obtain it, only so that he might use its power against those who would oppose him. If he betrays his own kind in these pursuits, can I trust him to honor our allegiances? Can you? Um... Okay, that makes sense, but why do you care about what happens to me? You need to understand that you are a liability, Kindred. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. No, I, I believe that entirely. Um... If the rumors about the sarcophagus are true, it's not going to matter. He'll be very powerful if he gets his way. Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. You probably should not have told me that you have the key. Just saying. <laughs> I think you should have kept that a secret. Uh, thank you for your honesty. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. I hope so too, because I do like you. You know, or maybe... Maybe the Quajin don't have the key, and they're basically setting up a trap, so... If I go along with the Prince's plans and try and find the key for him, they'll know that I'm basically... A traitor to them so, so even if they don't actually have the key they'll dispose of me for trying to find it if if what I'm saying makes sense it makes sense in my head but I'm I'm not the best at talking so but we have to go talk to the prince after this oh he cleaned up the road well somebody did Uh. How's my money, by the way? Twenty dollars. Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to stop here for now. So we've taken down the, down the Sabbat, and we've learned that the prince has been slowly getting rid of all his opposition. Which, I mean, we kind of knew that already. It hasn't. He has his his ambitions haven't really been much of a secret. I am. Almost entirely positive that I will not be siding with him in the final section of the game. I don't know who I'll side with, really. I guess it depends on who makes the best argument. I like Nines, I, I like Beckett, I like Ming Zhao. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!